I just... You seeing this? I'm not sure where to begin with this one. Do you? Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ascendant Nomad, and I am really struggling here. In the April 25th TWAB, Bungie have detailed changes to be made to the Lunar's Howl and Not Forgotten Weapons. As far as I can see, nobody is into it. Not least because it doesn't solve the real reason why people were crawling for the nerf to begin with. Let's get some context here before we proceed. On console, hand cannons are really hard to use. They have a wicked amount of flinch and they also suffer from Bloom, a deep-rooted mechanic whereby every bullet has a chance of not going exactly where you hit it. No, I'm not making this up. Console users frequently suffer from ghost bullets and shots missing. It's a mechanic which has long been called upon to be removed from pros and casuals alike, but for whatever reason, this has largely fallen on deaf ears at Bungie. Enter Lunas Hell and Not Forgotten in Season 4. Two precision frame 180 RPM hand cannons. The precision frame archetype is something to remember as we talk more about this. They enter the console space with severely reduced recoil and a wonderful perk called Magnificent Howl, which procs after two headshots to give you more than 100% boost in damage to your next shot. These guns can three tap you, something that is atypical of 180 RPM hand cannons. They're good weapons. It's now been two and a half full seasons since the release of these two weapons, so more and more people have grinded for it and or paid someone to get it for them. Because of the reduced recoil and very little bloom, these guns have become the standard energy slot for everyone who has it. They are so laughably head and shoulders above every other gun in the game that it's now become rare to run into a cook play lobby with at least two not forgottens. On PC, these guns were dominant for a little while because the only people using the gun were exclusively of a ridiculous skill level above everybody else, plus it was the shiny new thing that everybody wanted to try. Nowadays, with the release of Recluse, The Last Word, Thorn, and a noticeable increase of win trading and recoveries on a declining Crucible population, the gun is fairly common, but it's lost a lot of the fear factor because of the lower skill of the players that illegitimately got it, and the fact that it's countered by so much else. PC also doesn't have the same recoil or bloom that console users suffer from. In fact, it has none of those issues. Ace in particular is perhaps the go-to exotic weapon for scrims and competitive. The wider FOV settings also change how guns feel and a wider variety of weapons are available to use. Say for auto rifles, the PC meta is actually quite well tuned in terms of gunplay. Alright, context over. What did they change? Well, they basically made them into 150 RPMs. That's it. Nothing else. It's this series of tweets from community manager DMG04 that really confirmed my suspicions. Regarding Lunas Howl and Not Forgotten Changes for Season of the Opulence, the team has been hard at work on these changes, ensuring the weapons are still viable and heavy hitters in the sandbox. Coming from playtests, they still feel to be the pinnacle legendary hand cannons of Destiny 2. To answer a few questions, 1. The weapon retains the recoil and animation of 180 RPM precision hand cannons. 2. The changes to Magnificent Hal prevents two-tap kills. Example, players could get two headshots on one enemy to proc Magnificent Hal and then defeat another in just two headshots. Essentially, the way the gun functions will be unchanged. Recoil and Bloom are tied to the archetype of the weapon, which is why you see a lot more recoil on a Duke, aggressive hand cannon, than a Midnight Coup, which is a lightweight frame. Precision frames by nature are inherently less susceptible to the bullshit that currently plagues hand cannons as a whole. DMG said in his tweet that they will still feel like pinnacle hand cannons to get. From the wording, it's made out to seem like Bungie thinks Magnificent Howl was the culprit all along, which, fair enough, granting a 2.5x damage multiplier to a gun halfway through a kill verges on the irresponsible side of silly. But, to cite the scenario where people could get two taps with Maghal procced is disingenuous at best and distracts from so much else surrounding the conversation to be had about the gun. The change to 150 RPM is also a bizarre one, and it goes against the ethos of the gun. 
150s are already inherently a 3-tap kill. By adding Magnificent Howl to the mix, all you're doing is making so that you don't need to get a headshot for that third shot. The damage boost will be enough to finish them with just a body shot. The reason Luna and Not Forgotten stood out is because 3 taps were not possible on any other 180 weapons, and the speed at which it happened made it hard to play against. When you die to it, you knew you died to a relatively skilled hand. Now, you don't need a skill hand to make the gun work to its full potential. Magnificent Howl is redundant if you're someone who already hits their headshots. And because of this, I believe the guns will lose their aura and their staying power. These guns right now are stupidly good, revered by everyone who has one and coveted by everyone who doesn't. They hold a special place in the history of the Destiny franchise as some of the best weapons to have ever graced the game. Such is the status and reverence of this gun that people are willing to shell up up to a thousand dollars to get someone else to get it for them. These guns, even if they are broken, are good for the state of the game because they keep people playing and active. This was the ultimate carrot on the stick for PvP players. With these changes, the carrot remains, but the payoff is severely diminished. Everyone that has one knows that the satisfaction of nailing that first proper three tap with Luna's Howl and not forgotten at range is a unique one. Now, it will just be another thing that happens. And for many people, that doesn't make the grind worth it anymore. The worst part is, the reason we're even talking about this hasn't really been addressed. People complained about the guns because they felt like they couldn't compete. All Bungie have done to rectify the situation is to make the gun in question less satisfying to use and delay the time to kill by like a little bit. In all other respects, the gun will still dominate on console. Those complaints will only get louder than before. Something needs to be done about Not Forgotten and Lunar Sal. It's true, but they are just the symptoms and treating the symptom never fixes the wound, and framing the discussion around Magnificent Howl was a horrible misstep. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for the next upload. I'm Ascendant Nomad, and I'm your Crucible Doctor. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bounty is the game-changing platform that allows fans to support their favorite creators by helping pay for content that they want to see. Submit your ideas to your favorite creator and vote for the best ideas from their community with your wallet. The creator chooses the idea they like best, makes the content, and gets paid for it. Content for the fans, by the fans. To learn more, click in the video description below.